I'm Zinshen Zima and I'm from Makolweni in Manjini. When I was six years old and my mother died of heart attack, my father took another wife. It was nice at first when my dad is there, but when he's not there, she used to ill treat us, beat us for nothing, do many things which are not good. Sometimes she used to not give us food. My sister was little. Sometimes you'll find that I don't know what to do because she was sick, always sick. She was thin. She, she was really bad. So I was to take care of her, give her food, struggle looking for food for her. I never cared about myself, but I care about her. That's why I love her so much. I don't remember when Children's Cup started. I was introduced at Makolweni. Uh, we were going there to dish. She was one of the orphans that was able to come to the camp. <laughs> True speaking, I went there for food because I was starving. If there is no food and we are just telling them to come with their stomach is empty, I don't think they will come. But as long as there is food, they will just say, okay, there is no food at home. I know where I'm going to get food. Food is one of the most essential needs for these kids. Uh, without food, we can't do medical care and education and discipleship. So Feed My Starving Children, they really help provide the basis of which all the rest of the ministry that Children's Cup does on. They help us provide a meal for those kids every day. Zinile Nzima is the sister of Zinle. She's still coming here to feed and she's doing well in, in her studies. I know that when you are in the care point, there are good teachings. I know that she will grow strong. She will grow and like, like me, I finish school. I'm not like abandoned, like where to go now. I'm here at GLA. I know that something they provide, Children's Cup always provide for us. Most of the, our kids, when they come here, they are malnourished and when they started eating, especially the feeding my starving, their skin becomes so right and they are fresh now. That means they don't have scabies, they don't have sores. And not just, just any old meal, but a meal that's incredibly nutritious, that is really the, the nutrients that the child needs for the entire day. And it's amazing to see how the kids have grown and the medical problems have dropped significantly since we've introduced the Feed My Starving Children food. It really has brought health and life to a lot of these kids that the world considers throwaways. I grew up there. It was nice. I had a, a new family. I was happy. She's a very talented girl. She's good in singing, she's good in dancing, and she does have a leadership inside her. When I grew up, I wanted to be a businesswoman. I wanted to own malls, guest house, hotels. After that, with that money, I will help those who are poor. My heart, since I was young, I felt like when you are like poor, you, you really need help. I saw it from Children's Cup that they helped me.